Welcome to Euronews. The world is going through some very challenging times right now and the energy map is seriously affected by this uh, situation. You have said that uh, this uh, situation, the energy, the energy emergency, is making this winter very difficult for everyone, but you said that next year will be even tougher and that we need to prepare for this. How can a country prepare against this and why do you think it's going to be like that? Now, this uh, winter, as Europe, we may be uh, off the hook uh, because, uh, first of all, the governments in Europe were able and uh, take very good uh, decisions, such as increasing the uh, share of renewable solar wind. Some countries uh, uh, made huge efforts to save natural gas use in the buildings and in the industrial sector, and uh, some countries uh, decided to extend the lifetime of nuclear power plants such as Germany and uh, uh, Belgium and plus we were a bit lucky in Europe we had a mild winter this all helped but now uh, I believe next winter may be more difficult than uh, this uh, winter we have now for the following reason uh, uh, for this winter in the last few months we still got some natural gas from Russia not as much as in the past, but still, uh, and uh, uh, this year, it may not be the case. Uh, Russia gas may be cut. The second one is, uh, we, as Europe, imported a lot of gas from the uh, global markets, LNG markets, because there was a lot of gas. And uh, China, the biggest importer of gas, was in a, a very bad situation because of COVID and they didn't import gas uh, a lot and there was a room for Europe to get gas. But China is now opening and the, uh, their economy is uh, growing so therefore we have a, Europe has a very strong competitor to buy gas uh, from the global markets uh, like uh, China and third and finally the weather may not be always so exceptional uh, next year that we have uh, 16 17 degrees in in in, the, in December so putting all of these three things together no more Russian gas China is coming back as a, a strong uh, importer of gas and the weather conditions may go back to the normal, may well mean that the next winter may be more difficult. What we need to do is uh, we have to push renewables much more strongly, uh, uh, and uh, countries may think uh, continue with uh, uh, nuclear power, saving natural gas in the buildings and uh, as elsewhere, and uh, trying to get more gas from Norway, from United States, Azerbaijan and, uh, and others. So next winter will be challenging, but afterwards, uh, slowly but surely, Europe will uh, stand on its feet in, the, in terms of uh, energy situation. So how do you think the leaderships are coping with this difficult situation so far? I think Europe showed a very good leadership. It was not an easy job for Europe because there was an over-reliance of energy on one single country decades and decades. You cannot solve the problem in a couple of uh, months of time. But despite this very difficult situation, European countries uh, gave a very good test, in my uh, view, with the help of uh, uh, the uh, good uh, weather. And I hope that this uh, firm position of Europe, being very nimble in terms of addressing this energy crisis, uh, will continue uh, this year as well. What do you think about the decision of the Western countries to put a price cap in Russian oil? Do you think that this will work the way they want or this might have like really negative effects to the markets? I think the uh, uh, Europe and several uh, uh, countries uh, around the world, the international community wanted to give a response to Russian uh, aggression on the political uh, domain and one of them is putting a price cap and the uh, price cap is uh, already uh, there and uh, for the time being, we have not seen any negative impact in terms of the stability of the oil markets are uh, concerned. And the uh, Russian uh, oil is still being sold to China, India and a few other countries at uh, discounted prices. Has the energy crisis uh, caused a serious boost to the energy, to the clean energy transition? 
I think uh, they are, uh, unlike some people may think, they are in fact accelerating clean energy because the countries have understood, the government, citizens understood that we shouldn't rely on fossil fuel imports uh, from this country or that country. We should grow our own energy sources and therefore the renewable energy, for example, in Europe increased 2022 and will increase 2023 at a record level. Electric car sales booming. Uh, the, uh, again, uh, the interest for the heat pumps, efficiency improvements in the buildings are very, very strong in uh, Europe. So therefore what I see is when I look at the numbers carefully, the, uh, the uh, current energy crisis gave an additional momentum to the uh, uh, clean energy transition. So, do you have any numbers for us? For example, if the countries start accelerating now their actions to renewable energies, to boost renewable energy, when do you think they will be ready, they will have done enough to um, depend, not solely, but a lot on renewable energy? Renewables are growing very strongly at historical levels in Europe. Last year, big uh, record, and uh, we expect 2023, another big uh, record coming. The main reason is uh, there were already a lot of projects in the pipeline, but uh, to implement them, uh, to build those uh, renewable plants, took a very long time, the process is uh, there, because of the uh, permitting and licensing uh, issues. Many countries have simplified and make it much shorter, and I expect uh, that uh, this step taken by the governments and also in uh, uh, Brussels, led by uh, President von der Leyen, it will help uh, to accelerate the implementation of uh, renewable projects in Europe and will give a strong competitive edge to European uh, countries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.